Hello and welcome to another SVU live stream. I am Coach Kev, joined by J Moff. What's up, J Moff? What's up, Kev? How you doing? Doing fantastic. We are here for a Rocket League match. We got our boys Brady, Josh Jennings, and Connor going up against Old Dominion University. This should be a fantastic match, Josh. ODU, a really strong team. I'm wondering what SVU can bring tonight. Yeah, you love to love to see what they can bring to the table. Uh, you know, they always have a good show. We love to see it when they. Uh they can get that early lead, you know, that's really what we're looking for. They always do great with that. Um, but, you know, I really hope SVU has been able to uh, to adapt their strategy from behind a little bit, you know, be able to, to take back uh, after, after the kickoff goal doesn't go their way or, or something like that. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, with the um, the relentless aggression from, you know, Hitman, you know, followed up by Condog or uh, Jennings, we'll have to see if SVU can get that momentum and keep it because when they have it, they are looking spectacular. Uh, so we will be getting in here in just a minute. We are going to try to start these streams a little bit early. Haven't been able to get into that habit quite yet, but we will do so in the future. Um, but yeah, we will be jumping into game one here in a second. This will be a best of five, Josh, so we'll have to see if there's any adaptions made, uh, uh, whoever loses the game one. Yeah, no, super important in these series. Um, while we're getting ready to start... Um you know, Kevin, are there any other streams happening? And, and if you so, where can people find updates about that? So this week is crazy. Tomorrow's League of Legends stream is actually not going to be streamed tomorrow. We, we, we're going to stream that later in the week. Possibly I will update all that on Instagram, Coach Kev SVU. Make sure you follow to get all the updates. We might have another Rocket League stream this week. We're also doing some Halo. Uh, we're also starting up Fortnite here pretty soon. So we're going to have tons of streams for you guys. Uh, we just need to get the schedule ironed out so we can give it to you, like, you know, consistently so we're figuring all that out that will all be on the instagram make sure you check that out um so you guys can uh be up to date and not miss any of the matches you, you want to watch awesome yeah no, it looks like our, our guys are jumping in here with uh odu um you know one thing to, to keep our eyes out for um as hopefully we can switch over to the game here um here we are live little, let's see svu is on blue for those of you who didn't catch that and odu is on orange yeah, so SVU on the blue side here for this match. This is the opening kickoff, so going you know pretty even here across the board. Jennings with low boost, trying to just get a defensive hit here. SVU a little bit on the defensive at this very moment. They're going to have to get rid of this pressure. They do not want to get scored on early. Nice little pinch there uh, by the ODU player. Kuro with the good 50 there against Jennings, and that's a shot, but goes wide. Condog can get the save. Good job by Condog. Staying on the ground until he was needed. Fantastic save, and that's a good clear out by Condog. Upfield, Condog on the pursuit. Kuro going to try to clear this out. Condog can't quite hit a Hitman and Jennings. Very bad spacing, both going for the same ball, and this could be an opportunity for ODU. Kuro, oh, great stuff there by the Hitman. Action across the board here. Condog going to clear it straight up in the air. Hitman's there going to send it out, and as SVU is fighting, and this is a crazy one so far, Josh. Yes, yeah, super, super high space. You know, you'll, you know, I love to see this SVU defense super, super solid. Um, it just seems a little frantic, you know, from both sides here, looking for those plays, feeling each other out. And this is how it is a lot of times when you, when you first start. SVU kind of posing up for the shot here, see if it can get something off. But, uh, you know, this is how it is a lot of times. He seems pushing the limits, feeling each other out, and, and, you know, making adjustments from there for the rest of the series. Exactly. Usually game one we see a little quieter of a start, but this is a banger so far. No goals yet, but a lot of action across the board. No straight organization here. No one really getting into a smooth rotation. I think ODU's finally getting into their rotation here. Good job by Jennings getting that cleared out, but gives it right back to Kuro, who's going for a pass, can't quite get it. So, a lot of pressure here from ODU. Condog going to have to get a clear here. Missed shot there by ODU. So, this is a good opportunity here. If SVU can capitalize, that's a good hit up by Hitman. But Kuro's going to defend it nicely. Condog there to keep pressure, but accidentally hits it backwards over towards Jennings. So, 50-50 ball going to do just that. Go off to the side. And this this one finally get a little breath here. A little bit of slowdown in play. SVU doing well here. Not relenting. Keeping the pressure up while staying on defense. Fantastic by them. If they can just find a goal. Here's a good pass. Hitman can't quite get the shot off. ODU trying to get some counter pressure. Trying to hit the ball upfield. I don't know, Josh. What do you do in a type of game like this? How do you break through these two good defenses? Yeah, you know, really strong defense. And a lot of that is, is to the, the relentless offense where each team is going for everything. And they're doing a great job of it. Especially if they, they know it's, they can either win, win or get a 50 out of it. Um... You know, and that's tough. That's tough to, to beat that kind of pressure. Really, it's it's about the opportunistic uh, moments that can you capitalize on the little mistakes. We've seen, you know, a missed pa uh, a missed block or a great great shot or a great pass, sorry, or maybe a double commit. 
Um, and it's really fast in this pace of game. Can you capitalize on it? You know, if you have the reactions to do that, that's what's going to boil down to, I think. Yeah, good clear out. This is an opportunity here, but can't quite put it in. Ace trying to get that shot. Great pass there, but unable to capitalize on that shot. Kuro trying to play some defense here. Good hit up by Condog off the left side of the wall. Here comes A Pig going up, trying to get a flick. He does get it. Can Jennings get the save? And no, A Pig going to put it in the back of the net. This was an offense to defense. Or defense to offense, rather, with the flick over the hitman, and they just couldn't get back. Too much space, I think, for him. Yeah, you know, really well played by A-Pig there. Uh, you know, great shot. Um, it's What we're seeing here happen, I think, is is with the kind of pressure and defense that both teams are, are bringing to the table, um, ODU's just taking more shots. <laughs> we see this happen a lot of times where teams got more shots, tend to have more points. Exactly. And here's a good counter aggression, though, off the kickoff here from SVU. Can they get anything? Like you were saying, they got to get that last 10%. You got to get it in the net. Good flick there by Kuro. He's going to be able to put this one in. Fantastic job by him. The ball control in this game is unreal so far. Really good job by him getting over the Hitman. Hitman trying to be fast to that, trying to be aggressive. Thought he'd take it low, but Kuro had the read and got the goal. And you know, Kuro's got that really cool. Uh... Titanium White Dominus on his side there. You know, bonus points for that. Yeah, you got to have the style points. It's true. It's true. Going to play it off to the left here. Here comes SVU, though. Good shot there by Condog. Going to be cleared out to the right. Ace looking to send it up, and he does so. Hitman's there, sending it back out to the side. But that's a good cross here from Ace. Who's there from? Is who? No one else but the Hitman. He has unlimited boost, it seems like. Always in the right position. Always there to defend. Going to be a cross here, but the goalie did get exploded, but Hitman, can he save it? No, it's such an awkward situation. That was a middle school dance level of awkward. Could not stop this one from going in. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. You see you see Hitman try and realize, oh, no, this is a problem. What, what, how can I make the best of it? But uh, you just can't. You can't maneuver that fast enough when, when someone's coming up at you that fast. Yeah, he did the best he could in that situation. Just was unable to get it. Oh, oh, nice little hit there by Jennings over to Condog, but it does get cleared out by Ace. Hitman going to try to keep the pressure up here. here goes Jennings with a good hit. Here comes Hitman. What can he do? We've seen him do magical things, but look at that defense from A-Pig. They don't want to give the Hitman any time in the air. That's a good call. We've seen the Hitman doing <laughs> ridiculous plays and shots before. Yeah, here comes Ace up the left side looking to get past two. Does so using the Merc. Interesting card choice. Hitman, though, takes the ball. Flick over A-Pig. Kuro's there, but it's dangerously in the middle. Who can shoot this? Nobody. Here comes Ace. He has an open net. Hitman trying to get back. Can he get there? And no. And that's a misrotation here from SVU. Unable. And, and I guess they're desperate with the 20 seconds. You got to expect it. But unable to get any goals on the board here so far. Yeah, I mean, game one coming to a close. Really, SVU's just got to maintain mental. You know, stay, stay positive. See what you can take from this. You, you hate to see more goals getting scored on. Uh, right? You're, you're seeing SVU... You know, being able to say, okay, we're going to lose this one. Let's take a step back. Um, but maybe that step back hasn't quite got taken yet. So you hate to see that. Hopefully their mental doesn't suffer too much from that. But, uh, you know, really awesome, awesome performance out of ODU and, and SVU as well here. Just not quite enough to take the cake. Exactly. This is a best of five. So, you know, it, it's not too big of a deal dropping game one. Game one oftentimes is the easiest game to win uh, because... Both teams are, you know, like you said, feeling each other out. Don't really have the read yet. Um, so if SVU can get that read, if they can make some adjustments going into game two, uh, they definitely kept up with ODU early. They had, you know, we were, what, three minutes in before the first goal? Uh, and then they kind of piled in, you know. I, this this is the type of game where, you know, once the, once the pressure breaks through, once you get that opening goal, it's really common to see a lot of goals pour in after that. Jennings there really sitting, you know, low on the pack there. Um, we'll have to see if he can get more involved here in the next game. Um, he was really quiet that game. Didn't really see much out of him. Um, but that, you know, if he could be the spark that SVU needs, we've seen him pop off before, and they just need that from him. He's, he's kind of a feast or famine player. Yeah, you know, lately this season we, we've seen that from I think, though, where you get a little bit more offensive pressure uh, and, and, you know, just keep the SVU ball rolling. Um, so, you know, like you said, if, if, if we can make that happen, um, uh, SVU is not going to, you know, that's, that's only going to benefit SVU, right? Yeah, exactly right. So here we are getting into game number two. ODU took the first one up 1-0 one here in this best of five. SVU looking to tie it up. Opening kickoff back towards Condog in the back right corner. Going to send it down field just a tad. Curl with a good pass over to Ace. Ace going to put it possibly on net to commit, though, from ODU. So it's just Ace on defense. But he's going to do just fine. 
sending that back over to the middle. And this is, I wonder if we're going to have a similar start to last game where it's just back and forth, back and forth for the first few minutes with the with whoever scores the first goal just kind of opens the floodgates. Uh, SVU would not mind that, especially if they're the ones that get that goal. So here comes Jennings, possibly going to go for this. He's going to play it smart, going to play it safely back. Kind of a rough bounce there for him, but should be able to hit it down nicely and does so. Ball floating in the middle. It's going to float up. Ace going to get beat by Condog. If you put that on net, he might have had an opportunity, but, but hits it off to the corner. Couldn't make much of it. Here comes A-Pig. Going to try to cross this. Good clear out by Hitman over to the left, but this pressure here from ODU is really going to add up here pretty soon, Josh. It is. You know, I, I can't blame SCU. I think, you know, we saw both teams firing full Oh, and there that's it is. The that's the shot. That's what we were just talking about. The pressure finally got there. Hitman trying to clear this out. Gets stuffed by a pig. A good 50. And in these types of games where there's constant ball pressure, you know, you get that good bounce. You get that good 50. It's going to be a goal unless your rotations are spot on perfect. Yeah, you know, OD ODU is able to to find the the chain, create that opportunity that they needed early last game. Um, and I think SVU may be trying to slow the ball down a little bit there where we can analyze, okay, what change can we make? And and now they've had an opportunity to see that, hopefully. Um, and and just just being able to slow it down is a risky move. Um, but it, it does allow you to analyze and maybe make some adjustments that you couldn't have otherwise made. Uh, because that's you overall doing very well this game as well so far, I think. Uh, if we can just translate some of these defensive maneuvers where, okay, great, they didn't get a goal. Make it turn into a little bit of pressure. Turn into something that can that we can take a shot for at least, you know? Yeah, I think you're exactly right. That's a great adaption there from game one to game two as the shot comes in. Maybe they can defend this. Uh, going for the slow play, I think it was the right call. And it's just unlucky that that one time they were there for the stuff and got the 50. Uh, and that's going to be another goal. Kuro on the right side. Going to sneak this one in. Hitman gets it over one. Kuro with a hit there. But you think someone from SVU should be there to contest that. Boom that upfield. But Kuro gets a second hit on that. And it's going to score the second goal for ODU. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little slow in the rotation there or something. But, but Kevin, we're seeing a ton of pressure out of you. And it's 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 really, really, really hard for SVU to be able to get out of this. You know, what has what SVU got to change here in their mental and their gameplay? Uh, what? How do you stop this kind of pressure? You got to stay disciplined. You know, you got to, like, trust the rotation, trust the pressure, um, and keep going at it. You know, they they went for the, the slow play opportunity and it failed. Uh, but if that's the play, game plan here coming out of the coach, as the third goal goes in, as I was saying, though, as the, if that's the game plan coming out of the coach, just because it went bad one time, you can't give up on it. You know, they got to wait for the opportunity to slow play it, uh, move it up field. Uh, because this booming it outside is just not doing it here for SVU. Just constant, you know, pressure coming in from ODU. They maybe need a pass play, maybe need some, you know, teamwork to get the ball out because ODU is just ready for any ball SVU sends out of their defensive zone and sends it right back in, and that's no way to play. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to win games, is it? Comes a shot here, possibly from APIC. He does miss it, though. Going to be off the backboard. Hitman going to send it to the right. Jennings, he's there. Does not win the 50, but it does go to Condog. Who's up? Jennings, up in the air. Can't quite get to it. And here comes Kuro. Going to send it off the left side. Going to hit it again. Condog, good hit by him. But Ace is sending it up. He's got an open net. Kuro will put it in. SVU trying to be aggressive, trying to get out of their zone. But they didn't execute it perfectly, and then they get punished. And this is where frustration gets in your head. Josh because you finally get on offense but one hit goes away and then another goal is in your net so SVU's really got to hold it together here. Yeah and you know it's on game two as well and in a losing game so in a losing game and a losing set so uh, that's going to be the trick, I think, for these SVU guys here. Can we... Oh, the 50! Hitman giving a spark of life here for SVU with two minutes to go. Definitely doable. Ace with the lazy hit. Condog with the great pass. Hitman's going to 50 that beautifully and put it in for SVU to get their first goal of the series. And this could be the spark they needed to come back in this game, too. Yeah, I mean, that muscle, you got to feel good shoving it past them right in their face like that. Um, and we should see the Hitman maybe feel, feeling good right here, taking a lot of pressure right up the wall. Um, hopefully it doesn't turn into too much and over an extension or anything, but, um, you know, if SVU can bring this back, that's going to be huge for their mental. Yeah, and here goes Hitman. He's got some space. He's going to flick it up his field. Didn't have the boost to really do what he wanted with that. He's going to try to hit it again, but they can't quite get in the back of the net. Missed opportunity there from SVU. 
ODU on the attack, but here comes Hitman. He wants to get this. John Jennings is up. Goes to the 50, but blocked by Kuro. So close there. SVU finally showing signs of life, getting on the offensive end. The craziness of game one is continuing with this crazy double constant rotation here from both teams. SVU wants to be the victor here. They need another goal, and they need it soon if they want to come back. Yeah, you'd love to see SVU actually, you know, it's like Josh coming up and stuff, yeah. actually being able to take these opportunities. Looking for something off the wall here. Condog. Going for the air pass. Does get it. Goes back in, and that's going to be a shot and goal by Condog. The ceiling pass from Jennings. It's going to go over a pig who couldn't quite hit it. Condog is going to float the chip shot just in. That's what you like to see. The Tony Parker teardrop. And that's 2-4. to four. SVU with a minute left. They could still come back. They need a third goal, and they need it soon. But that is a lot. There, putting two on the board here in game two. And it was a deceptive shot, too. Really well placed by Kondo. Oh, no. The face-off goal. Unfortunate here. You, we haven't seen these much against SVU. Usually, they're the ones doing this to the enemy. Kondo couldn't get a good hit on that. Ends up alley-ooping ace for the shot. So, that's really going to take the, the wind out of the sails here of SVU. Yeah, and, you know, kickoff goals are, are something that are, they're just a plague, really, right? These 50s, it's really hard to tell. You know, where's it going to go? They're not a lot of ball control for either side. It really boils down to can you take advantage of the opportunity that presents itself if it's presented. Yeah, so we'll see what they can do here. Going to be a 50, and that's an another unlucky 50 there. Ace, their 50s are too good. Condog's going to hit that off his own side. Hitman just gets a bad jump there. You know, he's trying to go fast, and, and sometimes you just out of position when you jump, and he couldn't recover to block that. So... You know, you, you can't blame him. He's trying to hope that they miss or hope they make a mistake. But this game, two is looking like it's going to go inside of ODU and put SVU down 2-0 in this best of five. Yeah, I mean, 45 seconds is, is a lot. You know, we saw what ODU did in 15. But um, you got to think SVU's not feeling too optimistic here. Uh, you know, what changes are you thinking SVU might be looking at? What can they take away from this game that, that they could in the first game? Well, they got to look at the fact that they scored two. And the reason they scored two is... <laughs> not because they were sitting on defense. It's because they were just going for the ball. They were just going ham, just really flying at the ball, trusting their mechanics, trusting their teammates. And that was what we saw in the first half of game one. You know, And then once they got the goal scored on, they got all scared. Oh, we're not good enough. They got to have that confidence. They got to just fly at the ball. And, you know, I think they can compete with this ODU squad. They just... I don't know if they believe it themselves, Josh, and if they do, they got to go out there and just try. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. And I, you know, believe in themselves and believe in each other. We've seen a lot of, uh, you know, missed opportunities or created opportunities for ODU's side, uh, where, you know, SV is just, you know, double commit, miscommunication, you know, not trusting your teammate or or certain things like that. And, and that's tough to cultivate that kind of trust in a team. Um, it, it can take it can take years, right? You got It's tough to find those kind of relationships. Um, hopefully, SV can make those. Recognize those, make those little adjustments here going into game three. Um, you know, so that way ODU doesn't take a wipe the, wipe the slate clean here in this series, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I think, you know, their only shot, it's like, you know, it's like a leap of faith type of thing, you know, where, you know, you know, or, or trust fall. You know, you got to just commit. You know, they got to commit to their aggression, commit to, you know, going for the ball instantly, not giving ODU time not taking time on their on their side. And if they can do that, you know, that's their only shot, you know, to come back in this series. And I know they have the talent to do it. They just need to, you know, let go of their fear of failure or whatever it is holding them back um, and really get into there and just go for the ball. So here we go. Game number three. Hitman going to come out of the gates high. Great shot. And that's SVU up 1-0. Those are the face-off goals we needed at SVU. We said it time and time again. They are great on the face-off. And what a fantastic shot from the Hitman. Going to put it over Kuro for the opening goal here in game number three. Yeah, and this is key out of Hitman here, right? This <laughs> does does ODU, you know, does this shake them, right? If this does, if, then this can change the whole game. SVU loves these kind of early leads, kickoff. Feeling good for it. Um, as long as, you know, opportunities aren't created for OD here that uh, SVU doesn't need them to, to have. Hitman going to take it off the back wall, run it up mid, um, see if one of his teammates can pick it off, going to get the ground pinch. Yeah, he's looking for a little squirt squirt there with toothpaste tube. Can't quite get it. Wide <laughs> shot, left side, A pig, looking for a cheeky goal there. Uh, SVU's confidence now definitely should be flying high. Uh, with that opening goal. So this is exactly the position they want to be in here in game number three. So I, I want to see the aggression. I want to see the constant 
uh, the constant action here from SVU. The defense right now is looking really good. Uh, here comes Hitman. They could get a second one on the board. They just get this out. Everyone running low on boost. No one able to uh, do what they need to do. Ace did get off of the Merc, though. He's back onto the Octane, so uh, we'll see if that makes any differences for him. His 50s were going well, so they're, they're only going to go better now. Yeah, you know, you hate to see. I really love to see SVU get off the back foot here a little bit. You hate to see the, the, the good morale coming out of that. that Opening shot. Oh no! Into the oh middle. no! The That's goal was good. left open, and I'm not sure where it broke down. Oh, the hitman hits the post and fumbles, and Condog just ran it too close to the boost pack. Didn't quite have the angle, and that is not the tying goal you want to let up, Josh. That's got to be frustrating for us for you. Yeah, and that's tough, right? That's something that's not hard. And these high speed, you know, games played at this octane, like it's how do you, it's so hard to keep up with. And sometimes some fundamentals drop, right? Not playing defense quite the way you normally would, and, and things like that. So you hate to see it. Oh, and there's the second one. And like you said, you know, you can't blame them. It, it, it's a bonehead move, but at the same time, you know, it, it's going to happen. The ODU's made the same mistakes. The problem is, it just was capitalized on by ODU when SVU made the mistake. So they are just. That's where the frustration gets in when you feel like, oh, I made one mistake and it cost us a goal. They've made mistakes and it hasn't, you know. Absolutely. So they they got to just, you know, recover, keep the confidence up, keep flying at this ball because it's only a 2-1 game here with three minutes to go. SVU definitely alive in this series. Yeah, and, you know, pressure is really high for SVU here because it is. Uh, they are playing from behind. So, you know, boys doing what they can, but um, it's tough. Yeah, and here he comes off the wall. That's a great shot, but better defense. The Hitman not letting anything else in his net. He's fired up. He's not happy. He is going to do what he can to carry this game. Trying to get that 50. Going to steal the boost pack from Kuro. Here's the center. Hitman back up there. Condog flying in as well. Jennings going to take the ball. He has control. He has boost. What can he do? He's going to center it to Hitman. Hitman wins the 50. Josh Jennings with the ball. What can he do on the left side? Can't do much. Condog going to have to get back. Going to have to defend this. Should be able to. But no! AP comes in with the muscle and just muscles it past Condog. Needs to go to the gym. Could not. Get defense on that car, on that ball rather, and APIG gonna put ODU up 3 1. Yeah, you know, kind of like an unlucky land when, when you're the bottom of your body's to the ball, you, you just are not gonna beat out somebody who's got their nose, right? Yeah, so here comes Kuro with the face off, but Hitman's there again. Good defense from him. APIG gonna go up possibly for a shot. Hitman couldn't quite beat him to that. But good clear out by Condog on target, and that's a goal for SVU. Only down one with two minutes and 22 seconds to go. Yeah, we've seen a couple of these pops that, that look like, you know, amazing clears or passes. Uh, Condog's aiming his clears, passes, call them what you will, at the goal, right? I mean, <laughs> their shot's all the same that require the defense that, that just wasn't there. Yeah, that was a great read by him, really tracking the enemy well. Knew that he could put that on target, put that on net, and it'd go in uh, without any goalie back there. So good job by him. And that really is going to give SVU what they need here to be in position to tie up this game. Good cross there, but Kuro with the good defense. Ace going to play this off the wall, playing it slow, but then booms it up to Kuro. But look at that, Condog ready for it. Oh, and the double dunk. Here comes Hitman. Can he get the cross? No, can't quite get it. It's going to be played off to the right. Ace going to get it over Jennings. It's up to Condog. Hitman trying to run some interference and does so well. So that's good by him. Condog with no boost, though, trying to get anything on. He's going to hit it up. Oh, and Hitman with the fake. And SVU ties it up 3-3. Three to three. That is what we needed here in this pivotal game number three. SVU looking alive. Condog does what he can. Hitman with the little fake and bake. Nicely done. SVU ties it up 3-3. Three three. That's exactly what we're talking about. SVU being in the position to take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves. And there it was presented, right? Love to see it. And I, lo I love to see Condog. You know, coming alive here a little bit, really, really. Oh. Not what we wanted. A pig is always the bearer of bad news. It feels like right when we tie it up, they're gonna come out with a face-off goal. He's gonna hit the double tap, put it in the middle of the net, and SVU unable to get any defense on that. Oh, <laughs> I mean that sucks. There's a minute thirty left though, right? One point. We'll see uh, how much it matters. Oh, here comes Condog on the faceoff. SVU wants one back, but he puts it high over to Jennings. Here goes Hitman. What can he do? He's going to try to get his own double tap, but he ends up being a pass. Condog can't quite do anything with it. Jennings slamming it off the right wall. Oh, no, everyone's missing. Everyone's feeling the pressure now. Minute 17 to go. Condog, minimal boost. Going to have to hit this one. 
trying to center it. Does so. Jennings is up, but Kuro's there. It's going to fall in the Hitman's lap. No, he, Condog's going to go for it, but can't quite hit it. Hitman's going to take it now. Off the left side, he's going to hit it again. Look at the patience from ODU. They don't want to give up any more cheeky goals, but they might be doing just that. Here it comes. Hitman, he's going to drop it down. No, he's going to slam it over the net. Jennings putting it back in. Ace. Cool as a cucumber, going to defend that. And SVU has pressure, but they can't quite get that goal. They need one now. Hitman up the left side. Looking for the pass. Kuro, but he's not good enough. And oh no, Jenny couldn't get the shot. Pops it up 30 seconds ago. SVU feeling the pressure. Hitman grabbing the boost pack. Jennings going to try to defend Kuro. Kuro's flicked him before, but Hitman's ready for it this time. Hits it off the right wall. He's going to go for the 50. He gets it. It's going floating high, but they should be able to defend this. Off the wall, SVU needs to remain calm. They need to send it upfield. They need to get a good offensive possession. No, Kuro is there. Not going to give him the chance. Here comes Hitman up the right side. A-Pig trying to end this game right now. Looking for the pass. Seven seconds. SVU slamming it up the left side. Hitman, can he get the pass? He sends it down to Condog, but no, it touches the ground, and that's going to be the end of the game. Four to three, and the series 3-0 ODU. So close there from SVU. Great fight in them, but just came up short. Yeah, I mean, really, really, really close. Those ones are fun to watch. I, you know, really sad that SVU wasn't able to quite pull it off there, but really well played, really well adapted. I think SVU, over the course of that series, you, you know, you, your spirits dip, right? You start, you lose, you lose bad, and those snowballs can can take a toll on you. But we saw, you know, the hitman step up and say, okay, you know what, I'm not, I'm not done fighting yet. In that game two, he says, I'm going to keep pushing all my half. And then Condog's like jumping up to this plate um, in game three there saying, all right, I'm with you. And uh, you love to see that, right? Those are the kind of things that that uh, you, sh you see a team that still has life in them and you're hopeful for, for the rest of the series here or for the rest of the, the tournament here. So great job at SVU, you, you know, making those changes uh, when needed. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if they had, you know, brought that in game one and two, this series, you know, ODU was really starting to kind of waver in their – uh, efficiency there at the end. They weren't looking like the same team. SVU had them on the ropes. They just kind of ran out of time. You know, that face-off goal really hurt them. A-Pig coming in clutch for that. Because um, I think SVU was straight up outplaying ODU there at the end. They just didn't have enough in the tank. You know, already being down 2-0 just that last game. You know, it's going to kick them out of the game because it's going to be a 3-0. You know, so SVU really having a great fight but just unable to finish it off. So we'll have to see uh, what adjustments they make for next week yeah absolutely uh speaking of next week Kev, uh when is the those streams again future streams things like that where can we find those updates uh, for if you were still with us here yeah so we're gonna you know the instagram coach kev svu that's where all the live updates is of the matches of when we're playing and where i'm going to be releasing a schedule this week so you guys can you know better keep track of that um this team will be playing next week I'm not sure if that's going to be on Monday or Wednesday. The other team is looking for a reschedule. So we will be streaming that next week at some point. Uh, but all updates will be on the Instagram. So make sure you tune into that um, so you don't miss any games. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me, Kev. Great. Thanks, you guys, for viewers joining us. Uh, great series. And, and I hope to catch you next time. Yeah, have a good night.